Rock N. Roll Racing is a battle racing video game developed by Silicon and Synapse and published by Interplay for the Sega Mega Drive, Genesis and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1993. The background music consists of instrumental versions of several heavy metal and rock songs, hence the game's title. The game was ported to the Game Boy Advance in 2003. Rock N. Roll Racing was initially developed as RPMII, a sequel to the company's SNES game RPM Racing. At the end of the project, Interplay Marketing added licensed music and changed the name to Rock N. Roll Racing. It is also similar in gameplay to Racing Destruction Set where it got its logic, A Engine and the NES game RC. Pro-Am developed by Rare in 1988. Game Description The game pits four races against each other, with up to two of them being player-controlled and the rest being AI opponents. Each race consists of four laps around tracks viewed from an isometric perspective, which enables players to discern the presence of frequent sloping sections spread throughout the game's various tracks. In addition to navigating the turns, racers must also maneuver hills and dips without falling or jumping over the guardrail at the track's edge. While it is a racing game, there is heavy emphasis on attacking competitors' vehicles, since the cars always reappear with full health just a few seconds after blowing up. The only harm done is falling behind in the race. Players are rewarded with a monetary attack bonus each time they provide the finishing blow against another car using their forward or rear weapons. In accordance with the continual destruction and restoration of the racing vehicles, the tracks are littered with mines and health power-ups, as well as money power-ups. Other hazards include oil slicks, snow drifts, and lava, depending on the planet hosting the race. Players are updated on the race by commentator Loudmouth Larry, who makes comments like the stage is set, the green flag drops, and rip is about to blow in an enthusiastic tone at appropriate moments during the race. Between races, players can spend the money they have earned on more advanced equipment for their vehicle or on increasing their capacity for the frontal weapon rear weapon, and turbo boost, each of which can max out at 7. Despite their limited capacity, every vehicle will have its weapon and boost charges replenished at the completion of each lap in a race. Races can also buy more advanced vehicle models, losing any equipment upgrades that are not compatible with the new vehicle. For example, if the previous vehicle used jump jets and the new vehicle uses nitro boosts, any jump jet upgrades will be lost. The first three drivers to complete a race are awarded both money and points according to the final standings. Points are required for advancement to the next racing division or the next planet, with two divisions on each planet. A player who has not obtained enough points during a division's racing season must repeat the division, again starting with zero points. But all changes to the player's money and car remain in effect. In two-player mode, when only one player has sufficient points, the character in charge of advancement tasks leave your loser friend behind, allowing the leading player to continue alone by removing the other player from the game. The dropped player can continue from that point later by using their most recent password once the game is reset. Passwords Passwords are given out at the beginning of each new racing season, and they are located at the bottom of the FX screen. These passwords are a complex code, consisting of three four-digit sections, and they dictate everything about the player's progress, the character used, the vehicle type and color, weapons and parts upgrades, racing planet and division, difficulty setting, and money. The Game Boy Advance version of the game uses an EPROM chip to save the player's progress in lieu of the password system. The password codes only allow the player to save a maximum of $999,990 if there are more than six figures in the bank account. The password truncates the leftmost digits over six. 
Due to the two-player password function, it's possible to cheat by entering the same password for both players or by entering passwords for players who were at entirely different points in the game. The password with the lowest difficulty setting and on the earliest planet and racing division will be used as the basis for play from then on, which allows for a warrior skill character with a maxed out vehicle to race against rookie class AIs in the rookie skill mode. Though a password generator QBASIC program exists, the passwords it creates often result in a glitch, causing the player to race on glitchy planets that exist only as a bug and can crash the game after racing on Inferno. In the rookie skill mode, however, they work perfectly, as long as one doesn't try to take the character beyond the third planet using the password. A second password generator has been written in JavaScript which limits the available planets to reflect the chosen skill mode while retaining the ability to customize any other aspect of the data stored in the password. Characters Heroes The heroes of Rock N, role racing the player selectable characters, who each originate from a different planet. Snake Sanders Tarquin Jake Badlands Katerina Lyons, Ivanzafa, Cyberhawk, Olaf from the Lost Vikings. There are six characters that are readily selectable, each of which has a plus one enhancement for two of the four skills that are related to how well their vehicle handles. Acceleration, top speed, cornering, and jumping. Olaf, from the Lost Vikings, another Silicon and Synapse game that was in development at the same time, is a hidden character, requiring a code to access him, and instead of two skills, Olaf has three, at the character selection screen, while holding down L, R, and Silhect, press left then right on the D-pad, and Olaf will appear. There is an eighth character, also hidden, who has no picture or name but has the plus 10 bonus for top speed skill. This character is sometimes called the Phantom, and he, she, it is only accessible using specially crafted passwords. Many of the characters, location names, etc., take their name or likeness from hard rock music. Snake Sanders is based on White Snake vocalist David Coverdale. Jake Badlands is named for Jake E. Lee, guitarist for a band called Badlands and Cyberhawk is most likely a reference to the cover art for the Judas Priest album Screaming for Vengeance. Villains The villains are the AI-controlled opponents. Each planet has its own dominant local racer. Viper Mackay, Grinder X-19, Ragewort, Roadkill Kelly, Butcher Icebone, JB, Slash, Rip. Shred, Rip and Shred appear on every planet in one-player mode. Rip is also in every race in two-player mode, while the second player displaces Shred as the fourth racer. Music, Song Running Order, Paranoid, by Black Sabbath, The Peter Gunt Theme, by Henri Mancini, Highway Star, by Deep Purple, Radar Love, by Golden Earring. Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf, Bad to the Bone by George Thorogood. Release. In 2003, Blizzard released an Adobe Shockwave-based demo version of the GBA port featuring one track on its website. In 2014, a demo version of the game featuring three tracks was added to Battle.net, emulated through ZSNES. Reception. GamePro gave the Genesis version a mixed review. They praised the Versus, Mode and Rockin' soundtrack with driving appropriate tunes, but criticized the weak sound effects and remarked that the graphics and digitized voice are noticeably worse than in the Super NES version. Rock N, Roll Racing was awarded Best Driving Game of 1993 by Electronic Gaming Monthly, Legacy. Sequel A sequel to the original Rock N, Roll Racing was made for the 32-bit PlayStation console by Interplay. The game was sold in Europe as Rock and Roll Racing 2. Red Asphalt and in the United States as just Red Asphalt. It features an underground comic style in the characters' profiles and ending videos and a system of upgrading each character's driving combat skills, similar to RPGs. 
Motor Rock released on December 16, 2013. Motor Rock was developed and published by Yard Team on Steam. It features many elements, including art assets, from the original game, and some additional content. It was originally named Rock and Roll Racing 3D. Development was started in June 2009. The game had an Indiego Go campaign. As of December 23, 2013, Motorock has been pulled from Steam.